bacteria shapes and sex. Now bacteria come in three different shapes and first one is bacillus or bacilli and those are rod shaped and if there's multiple of them in a colony they clump together something looks like this and then the other is called cocci, and they are spheres, and so they clump together in something like this. And the last one is spirilla, and those are a spiral shape, and so they spiral, something like this. And so we, we classify them by these three basic shapes, bacilli, cocci, spirilla. Um, so you've maybe had strep throat. So that's caused by this one. You've probably had yogurt to eat, and yogurt has this one in it. So I really you don't probably come in contact with as much. Now let's talk about bacteria sex, and it's called conjugation. And in conjugation, you have a bacteria, and inside that bacteria, you have a nucleoid, which is a loop of DNA, but then you also have another smaller loop of DNA called a plasmid. And what happens is the bacteria will move next to each other, and this one also has a nucleid and a plasmid. and it will draw a connection between them, like a little tube called a pilus. And the plasmid of one of them will go through and join in with the plasmid of the other one, or join in with the nucleoid of the other one. And this one might send its plasmid over, or part of it, or all of it, and it could join in here, or it could join in here. And now we've got a new chunk of DNA written into the DNA of the other ones. And so now they are genetically unique from each other. And so they, have, they haven't sexually reproduced, but what they've done is they've taken on the DNA of another organism, and that has changed their DNA. So now they are different than the bacilli that came from the same colony that might have had the same exact DNA in it. But now that they've got this written into it right here, now they are a little bit different than this one here. And so that adds in genetic variation, which is important for their evolution.